This is Walter Cronkite. Today I'm discussing Tier 6. Yes, Tier 6 for New York City. Mayor Bloombaum and Governor Cuomo are trying to ram Tier 6 down the workers' throats. That's right. The worker has destroyed the world. Their pensions have destroyed the world. Or have they? During the past 10 years, more than 43% of pension benefits have been funded from investment income, and the projections of pension costs have not taken into consideration the impact of the systems earning 14% and 23% in the past two years. In the next five fiscal years, the city's pension costs will go down by $3.5 billion. The New York City controller has reported that in the next 50 years, the cost of city pensions will be reduced. That's right, reduced to only 3% of the city revenues from the current 14%. So why the big push for a new Tier 6 for future New York hirees, when in reality, a supposed cost savings wouldn't actually occur for at least 30 years down the road. 30 years. Not now. 30 years. Tier 6 will result in inadequate benefits upon retirement. Unions are fighting back because this is not the way to save money now. This is once again selling out the unborn. In the not-so-distant future, no one will want a government job because the benefits won't be worth the lower salaries. This is Walter Cronkite. Well, this is the meeting where Tier 6 was being discussed and formulated for Mayor Bloombaum, the City Council, and Governor Cuomo. We've nicknamed the man who's giving the speech, Kathy Black. Once again, a man who knows nothing about the pensions is dictating policy for all the workers in New York and blaming them for the shortcomings of the bankers and the politicians. They're really doing it up there, man. For what? For money and power, Jack. It's the American way. Lesson number 79. When the tough get going, the weak get screwed. I can't play it like that. It's the only way to play it, Jack. What about you? You're not like the rest of them. How do you survive it? I just go with the flow, is. You gotta be crazy to maintain your sanity up here. But you're sane, Jack. That's exactly why you're going crazy. So there you have it. They're blaming the worker for ruining the world. However, a city mechanic, an unknown person who you never even think of, the ones who fix the ambulances, the police cars and the fire trucks, and who worked on all the equipment for 9-11, after working approximately 26 and a half years, will get maybe 50% of their pension if they don't have too many penalties if they want to retire slightly early. However, a congressman who works six whole years, which usually works approximately 90 days per year, gets 100% pension for life if he decides never to run again and has full coverage for him and his family, medical coverage that is, for his entire life, paying nothing. Well, that's right. I guess the congressman who gets 100% isn't ruining the world because he's throwing tier six down the worker's throat so a worker can retire after 26 years with a whole whopping thirty to $34,000, which won't even cover his gas bill. This is Walter Cronkite. Think about it. Panuelos Humidos presents a Wailing Well production.